<clears throat> yeah, what's up, everybody? What's up, Dope, Cosmic, XD, Justin, Collins, Lex, what's up? Matt, Sheck, <laughs> Wake Up Babes, Broku is live. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Byron, oh, thanks for the $5 super chat. Appreciate that a lot. Uh, yeah, new Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkichi 4. I'm so excited for that. I loved that series when I was little. Um, it kind of want to make me see if those games are on Steam. And then maybe, like, streaming them before Tenkichi 4 comes out. What's up, Akka? What's up, Scythe? Now we probably can see Black Holes in action, yeah. Late night stream. Yeah, unfortunately, just was a really busy day. Um... Really, really busy day, so, but yeah, I had to get the stream in. <laughs> Byron, what's up? But yeah, Tank HE4, I'm so hyped for. Um, I hadn't really been hyped for a Dragon Ball game in a while, outside of Xenoverse 2. I really was not hyped for Fighters, or, I actually, I was hyped for that, uh, like the RPG game that came out a few years ago, Kakarot, but they kind of sucked, so. Oh boy, also got lit, it was so funny to see him drunk, it really was, Collins. Yeah, we are talking about the new chapter, also gonna be talking about, um, I want to go see the Demon Slayer, quote unquote, movie last night. I want to talk about that, and um, also I want to talk about if this is the land of the, the end of the land of the sun arc. How good was it? Because it kind of almost seems like this is the end of the arc. Can you see Black Clover being Universal Plus in the future? Yeah, I mean, there's actually. A decent uh, meta that it is Universal Plus right now. If not, maybe not Universal Plus, but more like High Universal. Kakarot sold. Kakarot sold, what do you mean? A nice, fun, relaxing chapter. Yeah, it was good. I actually liked it. Um, it was funny to see what happened, and then a little bit of drama <laughs> that happened in it that I do want to talk about as well. Cool. Light of the Sun Art could have been a movie. I think I wouldn't be surprised if that happens, honestly. Like, they could do, um, do a saga, like, a, or not a saga, a season of, an, of the anime, like a seasonal anime of the Spade Saga. That would be hype. That would blow the series up again. Then do a movie of the Land of the Sun Arc. And then you could do maybe some filler arcs of within the 15-month time skip in the anime. And then come back and then get caught back up. Kakar was underwhelming and should have been better. Yeah, I, I think it was really underwhelming. I didn't like the gameplay either. Excuse me. And I just didn't feel like going through the entire Dragon Ball story once again. You were literally crying and so hyped when Bukitenchi was revealed. That's awesome. I mean, it was a really good game. Uh, hey, Broku, how strong is Kezokaku? Uh, she's definitely one of the strongest in the verse. I mean, she's a reason. Um, if you think about it, uh, she was able to damage and blitz Paladin Lily in her base. And Paladin Lily is somebody who's above 100% Beelzebub. So above. A Spade Saga could low-key be two seasons. I don't think it needs to be two seasons unless they add more to it. Honestly. And by, by a season, I mean like 26 episodes. Asa versus Lucius, but have that Ichigo versus Yuha Bak animation. That'd be awesome. Which, does anybody know? Because I remember people called Yuha... They called him Yuha Bak, I think, from the video game from Bleach. Did... Because I haven't finished... I've only seen the first couple episodes of, of Bleach Thousand Year Bullet War in the anime. I've read the manga, but... How, is, is it Yuha Bak, or is it Yuha? Or you walk? Like, did they, like... Is the B in there at all? Because I remember, I think there was, like, a video game that said that, but... Um... I wonder if anybody knows that. Um, hype charged core. Who would you say is number two and number three in the reason? Um, well, I think we all know that number one is Yosuga, and I think that honestly number two is Fujio and number three is Achika. Although it really could be Kezo Kaku at number three. Um, she's a bit underrated. It's kind of hard to scale them. Like the, the honestly, the Land of the Sun arc has a lot of. Interesting scaling, but some of it contradicts each other, or makes it just a bit messy. Um, but, like, because, like, Kezukaku, literally in her base form, she might have been using Zen, we just don't see it, but at least in her base, she wasn't using her Snow Fox. She blitzed and cut off Lily's horn. Um, so. 
but it's hard to argue. You know the English language is wild as fuck, yeah. Kazakaku should be about equal to Ichika. Yeah, honestly, she probably is. They're probably around the same because they both took minimal damage from the combo spell from Heath and Lily. So they probably are around the same, honestly. Though, it, like, the issue... Because, like, Fujio, like, he really hasn't done much. But, like, in... Like, I don't think he's done an actual attack. But his magic power should be incredibly high because... If you think about it, Achika's like her black stars could not do anything to partial W and Asta, and that was while she was in her transformation. Whereas Fujio casually in his base can can bypass Asta's anti magic and heal him, and nerf Yosuka's attacks. Yeah, honestly, Silver, that's a good point. It might be that Kazuka Kazukaku could actually be a bit stronger than Achika, but Achika would win, therefore making her. The actual, like, strong, or one of the stronger members. Reason are very powerful. wonder how the Magic Knight captains are going to catch up. I mean, I think, honestly, a lot of it is we just don't know how much stronger the captains got in the 15 months. I'm sure the gap is not that crazy just from their 15-month time skip. But, um, yeah. But I do want to go over the chapter. Um, so, one thing I do want to clear up, and this is going to be interesting, um... Because this will, it basically just negates any of the uh, Black Clover, like, down players for its power scaling. So, basically, Asta cleared the sky and all of Japan. Like, he cut a cloud that covered all of Japan. It says, like, clouds just, the, the, the sky cleared. Incredible, what a great feeling. The sky is all pretty. And it says, because of that sleep in five of the dragon, a permanent cloud of Yorku covered Goshu and the rest of the islands. But that anti-magic blew it clean away. People have already calculated this to be, like, pretty high-end multi-continental. Like, I think it's, like, right in the middle of multi between multi-continental and moon level. And this is just, like, a blatant feat. So it's, this isn't even scaling or anything. This is just, like, a blatant, like, splitting the clouds that big is multi-continental. So I just want to bring that up to start. Like, so, like, anybody who's disagreeing with multi-continental Black Clover kind of needs to stop now. Because it's just, just like, blatantly on, on panel now. Like, there's already calculations putting it multi-continental. The reason better train the captains in the few days of port. Yeah, I think that we will get some reuse in and captains crossover. Like, some sparring and stuff. I think that could be really cool. Um, I think that we... One of the reasons that makes me think we will get that is I think we could get, like, a crossover. Like, the the reuse in could teach the Clover captains Zetan, and then the Clover captains could teach... They were using, like, Monozone or something like that. So they both are using Zen and Monozone. Because that would be, like, two, like, big massive amps. Was it also his power that blew the clouds, or was it two after the shock of his anti-magic Zen? So it was actually his power. Like, we see it. I'll show you. But it does it does say, like, in the previous chapter. Um, why does Viz always sign me out? I don't know why now. He used to never do that, but now it does. But, like, we see it in the la at the end of the last chapter. It, like this is it shows like these are the clouds right here being split by his anti magic slash, and um, basically the editor note on this chapter it's not here because Viz removes them. It says that Asta split the split the heavens and cleared the sky. So it definitely was Asta that did it. So just crazy stuff for Asta like this arc. Um, basically just makes it so that I and mean, I still believe that he's like large planetary at the very least, but. Um, anyone want to help me write a manga? I've been struggling doing it alone, but I swear it could be on Black Clover's level. Uh, just make sure if you're trying to write a manga that you have an artist, because that's very important. Um, but like, I, I can't really help you with that, unfortunately. I'm working on my own stories, so, but good luck. Alright, so I want to get back to the chapter 353. Um, so... And so we get some more interesting stuff. So, like, Asta recognizes Heath from the village of Saucy. This is one... Remember, this Heath is one of Asta's first villains in Black Clover. I think it's, like, within the first arc of Black Clover, Asta fights Heath. So it's really weird to get him back. But also really interesting. I wish we kind of got more of an interaction between Asta and Heath. That would have been interesting. But uh, we don't. But, oh, oh well. Um, but this is important from Ryu. He says that... 
uh, you said you, your your nun said it was Lucius' power because Osto asked how like this guy died how's he back and then Ryu says that's Lucius' power and then Ryu says it ain't complete yet and talking about Lucius' power so I don't know if you guys have said this but I've been saying this or I don't know if you guys have remember remember me saying this but I've been saying for months that I think that Lucius is going to keep getting stronger and stronger in between the final battle and this is basically just confirmed that he's he's not at his full power so that's another one of my like mini theories that is coming to, like, it's finally revealed, like, he's gonna be getting stronger. Another very interesting piece of information, this is massive, uh, Lucius and Julius now know how to resurrect people on the level of your Grand Magic Knights. Uh, Grand Magic Knights are captains, and Wizard Kings, too. I believe they're the same exact rank, they're just different titles within the rank. So, yeah, previous captains in the past, Lucius can bring them back, and then he uh, can also bring back previous Wizard Kings, potentially, which... If you guys don't know, like a lot of times manga will try to tie in with a movie coming out, which this is important because remember we got Black Clover, Sword of the Wizard King coming out in a few months now because it got delayed. And in that movie, there were four previous Wizard Kings coming back. And a lot of people were talking about like, is Lucius going to bring some of those characters in the movies back because he can do that. And now this is kind of further adding that we might get Conrad actually in the manga or some other Wizard Kings or other captains of the past. So I think that'd be really cool. Now, this actually brings us the possibility of Asir being brought back, which would be pretty wild, I think, because we just got, like, something... Um, like, we got, like, the closure in the last saga, but... <sighs> yeah, <laughs> oh my god, Anon, Anon. Bro. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Okay, so you are... Uh... Oh, so you're actually an artist, okay. Um, so you need help on the writing part, but you're working on it. Awesome. That's actually really good. Um, so yeah, just, I'd say just keep practicing your craft. Um, I mean, honestly, I would, if you can follow me on Twitter or tweet at me and I'll try and message you because I do need an artist for one of my series. So, um, but then again, I guess we it might not really work it because it seems like you got your own story and I have mine. So, but yeah, if you're interested in maybe doing art for my story, just let me know. Um, uh, another super chat, super chat from Byron. Appreciate that. Uh, Byron, $5. Lucius literally beat Austin while not being at full power and still growing is insane. Yeah, and like this is like the funny thing is I think I tweeted this today. A lot of people don't realize this because it's kind of hard to spot. But Lucius didn't just defeat Asta. He defeated him with a salute. So like this is like the slash or whatever. This is the salute pose of the Clover Kingdom. So he literally defeated Asta with a salute. Like, that is pretty, pretty epic for, like, final villain material. Why am I... Uh, dude, I, I don't even, like... You change your scaling like, every time. It's like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I, I No, I, I agree with you, Lima, on that. Paladin, Ossier, Lumiere Lake would be dope, but, I mean, F Fujio literally does have feats. And as for, you know, folding the current Ryuzen... That's not really backed up either. Um, ranking the reason 7. I probably will do that at some point. But anyways, back to the manga. Possibly the ending of the Land of the Sun arc. Um, but yeah, so re reveals. He says, your companions, the Black Bulls, are figuring out how to come and get you. Three more days. We'll have to wait and trust them. So yeah, the Black Bulls are coming for Asta. So this is what a lot of people are talking about. And I really hope it's true. That this arc, if this is the end of the arc, we get a Black Bulls retrieval arc. And we get like an arc, it'll flash back to four days ago. Excuse me, and we'll get a little journey of the Black Bulls coming to get them. And this is also important. Um, actually, I'll just go, I think it's the next page to talk about it. Or not yet, but they will. Um, I'll just have to bring it back to that. So basically, they start to the party because the dragon's been defeated, the country's been saved. They say, long live the Shogun and the Reason Seven. Long live the hero from abroad. Um, I really hope this is not the end, because, like, remember, we, we had, like, a, a legendary hero who split the sky in the past, and we don't, like, get any more information on it. Like, Austin just did it, and sure, like, they're celebrating him, but I wish we got more of it, and, like, more of a connection to it. Like, who is this guy? Was this guy a foreigner? How did he do it? Why did he split the sky? What did he, what was he fighting? Um, but I'm sure we will get answers to that, but, uh, we just might have to be patient. Also, the, I, what's this guy's name? Fumito? I think it's Fumito, right? Um, he says he wants to prepare the five-headed dragon's meat to make it <laughs> so that they're going to eat it. 
which is wild. Like, are they are the Land of the Sun going to get stronger from eating these dragons? Like, that could be actually be an interesting way to explain why the Land of the Sun are so strong. If it's because they eat the dragons or eat eat the devils or the demon uh, demon demonified uh, entities that they fight, um, that'd be actually pretty interesting. And then also, very interesting in this chapter too, is Achika asks Ryu, he's like, so uh, I, and not my brother, was the one who destroyed the Yami clan. She basically has come to realization that it was not Yami, or I guess Sukuhiro in this case was the one who did it. It was actually her. And interestingly enough, Ryu doesn't really answer, or at least he doesn't show it. And then we get this like thing of Fujio playing music and this two-tailed cat, which... I have, I kind of am getting a theory around Fujio. I, I think there might be something dark going on with him, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm a little sussed out. But uh, that's just the we'll see. Maybe if that it becomes big enough with, in terms of evidence that I gather, I'll make a theory on it. Um, one of the highlights of this chapter I really liked. Asta finally gets drunk for the first time. He's drinking sake, which makes me want to drink some. I haven't had sake in years. I love sake. Um, might have to pick some up. Ooh, that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna get some sake for the Black Clover movie when it comes out. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be a good combo. Ooh, maybe I'll make some. Ooh, okay. I'm really excited for the movie now. But basically, Achika apologizes to Asta and admits that she was wrong, and that was an interesting interaction as well. And then we get more charmy stuff. So, this is kind of confirming that there's more to this doll than, than it just being a doll. Um, Ochami is the goddess of meals. Long ago, a huge famine nearly wiped out the land of the sun, but she saved us. So, and then it shows this. This is charming. Like, that's definitely charming. We know that. It's not just like this doll. And it's a goddess of meals, which is interesting, guys, because we know that Charmy has food magic. So, um... A lot of different... I don't know. Like, wh what? Why is Charmy... Because it's not just like a character that looks like Charmy. It's Ochami, which is just like a very similar name. And then you her being like food related. Like, did, did she get sent backward in time in this Lucius fight and that's why this is a thing? Or is this her ancestor? Does she have a twin? Like, I really want to make a theory on that. I'll have to look into it a bit more. Um, especially because there are mythological characters in both Jap Japanese and um, Norse mythology that she connects to. So maybe trying to bridge the gap between the two to figure it out. All right, I'm just going to check the chat a little bit. So I think it's been like five plus minutes. I want to make sure. Um, at least she's got two grimoires or one. It's hard to it's hard to determine. Um, it seems like two. Asa needs Ryu's eye. I feel the one against Lucius. I don't think you can get it, though. Where do you think we go next from here? I think we might get a, either... It'll be it'll either be Uno versus Lucius, or it'll be the Black Bulls Retrieval arc. I'm trying to get Asta back. Bro, what? You're saying that Fujio has nothing against post-elf arc characters? His magic potency literally scales above partial W and Asta for being able to bypass his defenses. That means his, his AP likely scales to what he can do. Kazukaku versus Ichika. It, I think Ichika probably wins. It's hard to determine, though. I need to reread this arc now that it's probably over, and then I'll probably do a ranking on him. Was Charmy the Sky Splitter? That'd be interesting, actually. Uh, the Clover Kingdom arrested Asta and put him on trial for saving them while the Line of the Sun threw him a party for saving him. Yep, that just shows how bad the Clover Kingdom is. What are the chances of a time loop that Hino is stuck in? Asta is actually the original here that split the sky and Charmy is their priestess. Hmm. That could be interesting. Colin Samuel, Asta is 18.
Why am I? I think that Elves, Dryad, Diamond Kingdom, Earth Spirit, Magicula, probably another Cliff Off Devil. They think they will all return Limelight. Do I think Austin will get anti -mata zone? Um, Aaron, so yes and no, because he can't technically do mana zone because you need to borrow the mana from nature to do it. So there is, at least from what we know, there is no anti-magic in nature. So he might be able to do like an imitation where he surrounds himself in a swarm of anti-magic. Anti or maybe he can absorb like mana with the demon dweller sword and then convert it to anti-magic or something like that. But he shouldn't be able to do it naturally. But I think he'll do something similar. I think Ryu will be forced to sacrifice his Tengensu to get his fire Yojutsu. That'd be interesting. The manga is ending with Austin exterminating magic forever. Ooh. With an internal anti-magic mana zone. That'd be wild, man. That'd be wild. Um, Pridos to your content. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Alright, back to the chapter. I just want to come back and read some of your chats. So, this is the one that is getting a lot of people excited about. Yosuka comes up to Asta and he's like, Hey, moron. And introduce me to a tough lady from your country. One of these days, one of these days, all right. One with flame yojutsu would be great. And of course, even if this wasn't shown, we would all thank this. But Asta thanks a Mariliona, which I cannot wait for this. Like, I just really can't. Like, that would be so funny because you know they're gonna fight at first and probably just fall in love with each other. Fall in love with each other outright, and they would have power children. Like, because you gotta think about it, Yosuga is a royal. He was the next in line to rule one of the regions, which means he is royal blood. Not only that, but he's also really strong. And then also, Mariana is a royal, and she's really strong. They have similar-ish personalities. They would work really, really well, and their their child would be uh, kind of a monster. And Asta gets a little bit too drunk. <laughs> this is funny, like, so relatable. Anybody who is of legal age should drink often in your first few sessions of drinking, you kind of overdo it. And with Austin, this is his first time drinking, and uh, he's about to throw up. But uh, they suggest that he goes to the hot springs, which, keep in mind, remember, Ryu can see everything. Ryu says, go soak in the hot spring. It'll make you feel better. So remember, Ryu can see everything, and he makes a statement. And what happens? Asta goes, and then this, remember the reason is like, okay, I'm going to go get a towel. I forgot mine. Asta gets in there, and a chica is in the hot spring. And this makes Asta both blush and also extremely terrified. It sobers him up instantly. He thinks he's dead. He thinks that chica's going to kill him. Um, but, guys, Ryu should know that she's there. So maybe either Ryu's drunk, which is a fair possibility, everybody's drinking. Maybe he planned for this, or maybe it's just kind of one of those plot inconsistencies where he didn't know it, but... Yeah, this is funny. When Shika gets really blushed out, it's it's pretty funny. Um, and he forgot that it was reserved for women right now. But again, this was Ryu, who, can, who knows and sees everything, yet he suggests... Like, is he trying to get Austin and Chika together... Or does he have an ulterior plan? It's definitely very interesting. But basically, next morning happens. Asta apologizes to Ochika. She says, you're going to take responsibility for that, you fool. And Asta's like, huh, what does that mean? Now, a lot of people have been talking about this on Twitter. Because apparently, and I think this happened in Dragon Ball as well. The one, like, Chi-Chi said the same thing to him. Apparently, like, in some old, like, traditions of in Japan, if you saw a woman naked, it was... It would become your responsibility to marry them, and maybe that's what people are trying to theorize for Ichika saying that. And it's led to a whole war between Asta and Noel shippers, and now these Ichika fans. It's I think it's funny. I I, I never really cared for shipping really either way. Usually, maybe there's a, a series, and I'll I'll really care about one character. Like I really only care that Asta gets with Noel. And besides that, I really don't care that much of who ends up with who. Unless if it's just, like, a crazy what happens, but, like, I don't know. I don't really see Asta getting with a Chica. 
I think it's just gonna just gonna like do more funny interactions when Noel finally arrives to the Land of the Sun with the Black Bulls and then Chica and Noel encounter each other. That could be really funny. But basically this arc ends with them realizing that they have three days until Judgment Day, and they say, We can't just sit on our wait. And they're like, How about you train with us? And Austin's like, Yes, I'm definitely taking you up on that. So now Austin, who knows his head and who's now the hero of the Land of the Sun, is gonna train with the Ryu's in seven. So if also has gotten this much stronger in four days where the focus was just to learn Zetan, not even necessarily get stronger, he's probably going to get a fair amount stronger in these three days, especially now that he can fully train with a Reason 7. He can now actually probably properly train with Yosuga. Because remember before, Yosuga was just only using his base power against Asta. And he and Asta needed Fujio's help to fight him. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Like, Fujio, why is he always like so off and... So, like, I'm a little sussed out. Like, especially this cat. I don't know. I, I, I have a little theory that I've been brewing about. And, and I, haven't, I've never, I haven't put anything to paper yet, but I've been thinking about my head. I have, I'm a little sussed out about, uh, not Ryu, about Fujio. But, um, so yeah, a good chapter. And if this is the end of the Land of the Sun arc, I think it was a very good arc. I might even say great. Far from perfect, though. Um, but what makes me think this is the end is because we got the black panel that says three days until Judgment Day. It's likely the end. We'll have to, I guess, wait and see. We won't be getting a chapter next week. We'll have to wait two weeks, and then we, we can maybe see that... Uh, if we're in the Land of the Sun still, then maybe the arc will continue. Maybe this is like a little like, midway through the arc, and it's just saying three days until Judgment Day, uh, but, yeah, I think that is probably the end, so, I was hoping we got maybe a bit more, I was hoping that maybe Ryu would end up being tied to Lucifugis, maybe, maybe we, we can still possibly get Lucifugis, though, because, like, we know that it's likely that Lucifugis is the Darkness Devil, and Darkness is so heavily tied to Land of the Sun, I thought we'd get something like that, but, Moon Down, 8.5 out of 10, so I so for my how my scale goes, a five is average out of ten, a seven out of ten is good, an eight out of ten is great, nine out of ten is like phenomenal, and ten out of ten is perfect. Um, so eight and a half out of ten, that would be like between a great and phenomenal. I'd probably go eight out of ten. I don't know though. I need to reread it now that it's done though. Six out of ten arc, not a fan. Eh, it's not for everybody. But yeah, not everybody's gonna love it, you know. Ryu versus Lucifero. I got Ryu. Pout and Lumiere versus Sea God Nozel. I mean, that's really hard. It, it, I don't know. There's a lot of depending. Like, a lot of depending. Like, wait, that's just a very big hypothetical. How long were you looking at that Chica panel? Not very long. Loose Fugis should be under Lucius' control, though, because Lucius said he took control of all the Spring Devils in the world, which should include Lucius Fugis. Yeah. Unless if he doesn't have full control over them, though. <clears throat> Arc was decent. Hi, y'all. What's up, Borg? Just seeing the Zedden and sketchy text is hype, yeah. Maybe Fujio is introverted, yeah. See, no, I'm not saying that it's not confirmed, Limei. I'm just saying I, we don't know like how strong Powder Lumiere is gonna be, how strong Sea God Nozel is gonna be. It definitely would be an interesting matchup, though. Yeah, I still think that Lucy Futures is definitely gonna be. Oh wait, so somebody was brought up that. Lucy just should be under Lucius' control. And, like, I don't think that, like, that that's a guaranteed um, thing. I think that there would be, of course, ways for devils to be, to get out of it. Like, it could be that devils have multiple hearts. Or if they're in contact with somebody, they're not fully down for the count. Um, we definitely need to see more of it, because there's just too much darkness attached to the land of the sun and we know that lucifer is likely the darkness devil
If Paladin Lily is greater than Beelzebub, Paladin Lumiere will be blah 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 thousands of times greater than because Lumiere is above Lily. Um, I mean, probably. You could also argue depend on the Devil too. I want to see more Levia. I I definitely agree with you, Phantom X. I want to see a lot more Levia. If Cliffhaunt Devils come back, that will ruin the scaling. Not necessarily. I mean, if they come back and they're still strong, you just... Unless if they blatantly say that they're weaker than Lucifero, you just argue that they're stronger, that they got stronger somehow. Only thing I didn't like was the massive power creep for the Reason 7, all of them. Yeah, it was a lot of power creep for sure. Like if the third gate Supreme Devil starts slapping the Reason... Yeah, you could still just easily argue that the third that the Supreme Devils got stronger. How strong are the weakest reason? Um The weakest reason in their base form survived a combo spell from Paladin and Lily and Heath. So even though the weakest of the base reason scale above 100 percent feels above. So, like, they're pretty strong. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, th I think I give the Arc an 8 out of 10. Honestly, if I reread it all the way, I'll probably increase it to an 8.5 out of 10. It is, it is really, really good. I mean, actually, it's great at the very least, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's also kind of short, though. And I think that... It depends, though. Because I think we could get... Or we likely will get more Land of the Sun. It's been half a year since we've seen Noel. Yeah. It's been a long time. Just kind of feels like the power cube was way too high and we didn't get enough development for any of the Land of the Sun characters beyond basic character arc too. I kind of agree with that motivational lizard. Um, I think we got decent development for Ryu and Achika. And beyond that, we didn't really get too much. But you have to also think about it. It was only a... They got to the Land of the Sun in 337. So this is only a 17 chapter arc. So I think that we there really isn't enough to fully develop all the characters in it. Three reasons should be enough to destroy the captains. I could argue that you could put out the weakest reason and they'd solo the captains, but... Yeah. Fugio acts introverted because he's the only non-fighter reason he mostly plays a support of the spells. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Like, I mean, he just... You, you guys will see if I do make a theory on it. Yosuji was a pretty good character for what he had. You mean Yosuga? You know that Devils, while in a contract, return from Chibi form into the full body form, and I would love to leave it be fully grown instead of Chibi interacting. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Ampani. Like, I really want to see how Libra interacts and gets along with the Black Bulls. Or, like, Noel, or anybody. <laughs> Thoughts on Demon Slayer movie? We'll, we'll get to that. If the arc was longer and more explored, I'd probably go up to 8 out of 10, but right now it's a 7 out of 10 for me. I was hoping we get more in Land of Sun because it's a pretty interesting concept. Yeah, and that's fine, yeah. Like, I don't think this is a bad arc. It's definitely not, like, the best arc. I think it started off really hot. I mean, I guess if you include Chapter 332, if that itself, if, like, 332 through 336, which is... Lucius arriving to the Clover Kingdom, fighting Asta. If that's his own mini arc, but if that's if that's included to the Land of the Sun arc, I would probably rate it higher because those first five chapters of the of the of Black Clover's Part Three are like god tier. Um, Yosuga is merely another reason. Ichika is the only reason because it's an Ozel the reason. Well, that's interesting. Kizukaku versus Ozel. Honestly, like I think the captains are going to be are going to power clip the reason when they are introduced. At least like the top tier captains will be stronger. So honestly, probably knows though. Like when he when he gets a power clip. Right now it's Kazukaku though. I also do like that the iron user is the strongest due to the high high concentration of iron within the country of Japan. That's interesting. My favorite reason is Kezukaku. Don't know why. She's a cool design. She does have a really cool design. I like her Snow Fox thing. Paladins are to ruin Black Clover scaling. Um, somebody did ask a question. 
are all the paladins all weaker than 50% of the Pharaoh? Um, I mean, I I would say that Paladin Lily is stronger than 50% Lucifero. Paladin Heath and Paladin Yurlu are pretty hard to scale. Um, like, honestly, Yurlu should be stronger than 50% Lucifero because he was not scared by the Zet and Ryuzen. He was only scared by Asta. And the Zet, but the Zet and Ryuzen, like, he wasn't scared of Zet and Achika. He wasn't scared of Zet and Kezokaku. So, Yurlu is probably above 50% of Sephiro. Heath, like, Heath, like, he's the harder one to scale, because, like, he did combo spells to damage the Ryuzen. Like, it was a Lily and Heath combo spell. But, it's hard to say. I get a nice on a 9 out of 10. Wow, you really liked it then. Yeah, the Ryu, or not the reason. The Paladins do have hacks as well. What does Dramax, what does Dramax roll this arc? I think. Uh, that's. He's he's a wild card. He's really a wild card, yeah. A uh, Paladin and Lily should be able to ruin 100% Lucifero, and a Paladin, Yurlu, and Heath are at least relatively Lily than they should too. I mean, that's probably the case. The only thing is, Heath is just like the hardest to scale. Um, Yurlu should be able to defeat 100% Lucifero and Paladin Lily. I mean, just based on her having 100% Beelzebub and then also having a Purified and having a Grimoire and being better at magic, she could probably defeat. Like, I'm, I think she definitely beats 50% Lucifero. Um, I don't know. I also, I want to reread this arc and just get all the power scaling down. Yosuga versus Perfect Zed and Asta. Um, probably Yosuga if he goes all out. I know that Sun Arc was an 8.9 out of 10. Okay, I'm going to do a pull. I haven't done a pull yet today. Yeah, she does have Spatial Lana Domination, too. So she does have some good hacks. So she probably could do very well. The only issue is... I don't know. <clears throat> Rate the Land of the Sun Arc. Yeah, 50% of the Sparrow is definitely underrated. When Tempest, do you think there will be another content introduced? Yes. We actually saw it. When Lucius showed the planet, we actually see this new thing. So I'll go 10 out of 10. Actually, I'll go 10, 9 or 10, 10 out of 10. 7 or 8 out of 10. Five or six out of ten. And the last one will be five out of ten or less. So, like if it's nine out of ten or ten out of ten, that means that you rate it between nine and ten. If you think it's seven or eight, you think it's between seven and eight. I guess this isn't perfect because you could think it's eight point five or whatever, but just round up, I guess. Yeah, this is my pull. Yeah, a T Greeny, I think that... Because the arc really is not that long. It's only like 20 to... Because if we if we, if we this technically starts on 332, then it's a 22 chapter arc. If it starts when Asta is like awakened in the Land of the Sun, then it's like only a 17 chapter arc. But I think it's just we had so many breaks that made it feel so long. Um, oh, Byron, another $5 super chat. Appreciate that a lot. Byron's uh, carrying the stream today. Appreciate that. Um, shouldn't Lucius being stronger and being able to bring back stronger people mean that he has absorbed more of his siblings' magic? That is likely the case. That seems like what he is doing in his like, throne, that he's taking their powers. Um, and also, since the, there's some sort of a tree there, we know that like the tree of Cliff Off and a lot of tree powers absorb mana, so you could be taking their magic and absorbing mana. So he's probably getting a lot stronger. So yeah, definitely. Very good point, Byron. Base that she could violate devils in on. Um, yeah, she really would. I feel like the fact that time manipulation was needed along with essentially immortal immortality 
his scaling would be higher, but he got instantly bought. Yeah, he got bodied by Lucius who only had half of his heart. And Lucius was shown to be in base, too. So, like, it is crazy how much the power cliffing was in this arc. They really need to add some chapters regarding the Clover Squad. I think they really, I think they definitely will stand a working man. How strong is Devil Heart William? He is really hard to scale. I would say that his magic power is probably on par with Yami, but I think he's probably weaker overall. But if it's revealed that Yami didn't gain the Devil Heart from the ritual, and it was because of the Oni pill, then it's it's really all over the place. Honestly, it's hard to it's hard to determine. You want to see a culture shot between the Black Walls and the Reason 7, Clover Kingdom and the Sun Outfits, and vice versa. That'd be really cool. Good idea, Lightning Anime. Yeah, what's up, Beely15? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate that. Do I think Charmy is immortal? Mm, possible. Um, okay, guys. I'm going to take a little tangent and talk about the Demon Slayer quote-unquote movie. And... Here, like, so basically what happened is, um, I saw an ad that the Demon Slayer movie was out. I honestly didn't even really know it was coming out. Also, one of my buddies sent me a, that he was, went and saw it. And I didn't know that the movie isn't actually a movie. And they advertise it as a movie. I saw an advertisement. They said that the Into the Swordsmith Village movie... And when you when I got it online, it said movie. At the movie theater, it said it was a movie, but it's not a movie. It's just three episodes of the anime. And so me, I went. Me and my girlfriend we went and go saw it. And what's funny is I Google right. I Google what do you need to watch because I've read the manga, so I didn't need to watch anything to go see this movie. But my girlfriend had only seen the first season. And Mugen Train. So, we Google it, like, what do you need to watch before this movie? And I think it's called the Entertainment Arc or whatever. So, she went and she stayed up all night and she watched it for the movie before. And then we go to the movie. And then the movie is just the last two episodes of the Entertainment Arc. And then the first episode of the Swordsmith Village Arc. And so, there there is no movie. And it says, the, the movie is, like, Swordsmith Village... But, the movie is only like 25 minutes of Swords and Village, and it's, the rest of it is the previous arc. And so, and like, me and my girlfriend, when, when the movie was ending, we're like, what, this is it? Like, it, I, her and I started saying, this is a scam. And then, not even joking, several other people in the theater started yelling out that the, the movie was a scam. It really kind of is. The, like... If we would have known that was it, we probably would not have gone to go see it. Like we we legitimately think that's it's it's pretty much a scam. Like, because technically they did like reveal like in the news or whatever like that that's what it was. But I'm a casual fan of Demon Slayer, and I didn't know that. She didn't know that. Nobody in my theater knew this was just a recap. Like, it's like the literally the it, they call it the Swordsmith Village movie but and it's an hour and 50 minutes and only 25 minutes is is it's just the first episode of some more swordsmith village and then the rest is the the last two episodes of the entertainment arc there's like a five minute summary of mugen train again even though we already had the mugen train movie we had, then we had the mugen train arc in the anime but they still have to do five minutes again of mugen train and also they have three different credits in the movie because when each episode ends they show the credits so it was definitely a waste of money. Now, I will say it was still overall, I guess, decent, because you get to see the god-tier animation on a movie TV screen. Or not a movie TV screen, on a movie theater screen. But besides that, it, it, was a, it was a cash grab. It was a scam. Yeah, so, yes, Born, it's a recap. It's the last two episodes of the Entertainment Arc, of se which is season two, I believe. And then it's one episode of the Swordsmith Village. Spoiler, the movie starts with a flashback and Tanjiro crying. <laughs> yeah, so we definitely felt like it was kind of a scam. It was a cash grab. It's it it's, it's, it's not a movie. It's just three episodes. 
and it's it's literally just old content. That's what the most of it is. It would be one thing if like it was at least half and half, but it's not. It's two episodes of the previous arc and one episode of the new arc. It, it, it was pretty messed up. It, like Everybody in the movie theater was disappointed. Even the little kid in the theater who, you know, like little kids are pretty easy to like, you can press put anything on the screen and they're going to like it. They were not very happy about it. They were crying at the end of the movie. But, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on the Demon Slayer movie. That was a scam and disappointing. And just, it was a money grab. Like, but I, but basically, my final thoughts is the Black Clover movie could never. The Black Clover movie could never. The Black Clover movie is going to be peak. It's going to be so much better. Could not wait for it. June 16th, everybody. When Mob 2 did the first episodes in theaters, a special event. I mean, technically, the Demon Slayer movie was publicly admitted, but they didn't really advertise it that way. And they advertise it as the Swordsmith Village, even though it's not. It's crazy. Um, but anyways, that's all my thoughts on the Demon Slayer movie. It it's They admitted that, but Justin, it's not really advertised that. Like, nobody in the theater, like, I didn't know that. My girlfriend didn't know that. Nobody in the theater knew that this was what it was. Like, I, I know that, like, Demon Slayer, like, heavy fans knew that. But you have to remember that the vast majority of a fan base is not... They're going to be casual. And that's what the movie theater was. Everybody was casual Demon Slayer fans. And everybody felt scammed. Exactly, Moontown. If, if the Black Clover movie hadn't gotten delayed, we'd be only 26 days away from the movie. Oh, I completely agree, Standard Working Man. The, the first episode of The Swords of Village was really, really good. But, like, we paid for Swordsmith Village and we got Entertainment Arc, which we had stayed up the entire night before to watch. Yeah, Flaming Willow. Yeah, I know that people knew, but like I said, you like you shouldn't have to like. And it, it's just it's misleading how they advertise it. Because when I I saw the advertisement and then I went to and I went and got the movie and it says Swordsmith Village movie and it's not a movie, it's three episodes and it's not even Swordsmith Village, but it's whatever. I mean, they are the most popular anime in the world right now for pretty much at least in the West. I'd say I'd say it probably is. Uh, I guess they can do whatever they want and they'll get away with it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what's the poll? 73 votes. 56% people think it is a 7 or 8 out of 10, which is about... That's that's pretty good. 34% say it is a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. So that's second place. Third place is 5 or 6 out of 10. Very low. And then 3% is 5 or 10 or less. So only a few people think that it's that low. 90% um, of people think it's a 7 or 10 or higher. So pretty good. So I'd say most of the fandom, at least most of my viewers, think this is a very, very good arc. Exactly, King Gage. I think that's what a lot of people think. A lot of people... Well, here's the thing. Is Black Clover, from chapter 331 to 336, when it was like the reveal of Lucius, and then Lucius arriving and fighting, that was like peak Black Clover. And then all of a sudden we go to the Land of the Sun. Like... I understand people wanting to go back to Clover Kingdom because we want to see Lucius, right? We want to see the reactions to, oh, we just got duped by the Wizard King. But and I think that's why like people wanted to go back. Like we want to see the Black Bulls. We want to see you know. So I think that's why. But yeah, yeah, you felt scammed the second they showed the last episodes of the arc you watched last night. Yeah, exactly. Like it was just like a waste of time. We probably would not have gone. If we knew that. But it's whatever. They got their bag. Cause there's actually been articles I've seen online after. And people like saying it's a cash grab. Lucius at the best of all. Yeah, like... I mean, yeah, I cannot wait to see more of Lucius. Like, that's going to be awesome. I agree, Phantom X. Good point. But refuses to... Drops in, fights the MC, wins, 
demonstrates his godlike power, refuses to elaborate, and leaves. Who's just the go for real? You'd argue that Aaron Yeager is a better villain reveal. I've only seen the first season of Attack on Titan. It's good, but I don't know. As someone who's an anime only, this photos were open. What are you here for? You're getting spoiled so bad. <laughs> low, low, low C blow. It's getting spoiled hardcore. Well, for which character people want to see most back in Clover. Okay, I'll do that. I'll end this pull. That's pretty much done. It's not really changing. Wow, I can only pick four characters. Characters. I'll stick to the Clover. I won't even include Lucius. I think most people are going to think they're most excited for Lucius, so I'm not even going to include Lucius. Characters you are most excited to see in the Clover Kingdom. Um, and I will not include the Black Wolves because they're not technically in the Clover Kingdom. Oh, damn. Who are you most excited to see in the Clover Kingdom? I will include Noel, though. But she's not with the Black Bulls. So, I won't include Lucius, and I won't include the Black Bulls. I got Noel. I'll put Yami. Um, who should I? Who else should I put? You know. I only got one more option. Hmm. Who else should I put, guys? Uh, yeah, we're not getting Lucius versus Asta for years. You say three years, it's probably more like four or five. Because we st with the movie coming out, we still have the Spade Saga... We might even get the filler arcs before, because remember the 15 month time series happens before Lucius vs. Asta, so if we get filler arcs, it might be a long time away. Um, Noel, you, Yami, you know. I'm trying to get one more. Mariliona? You guys want, that's two Marilyns back to back? So it's going on, that's three? Okay, I'll put Mariliona. Mariliona. That's your four, because only. I wish YouTube gave you more options than four. I mean, it, when you do a poll on the channel, I think it gives you five, so. I hope Black Clover gets that bleach treatment. Oh, I know. Like for the Spade Saga? Oh my god. Black Clover would blow up. I have heard of that manga dope. I don't know too much about it, though. I have not read it. I want to see the results. You know is number one so far. I'm not surprised. I'm also not surprised that Mary Ellen is last. Four to five years, bro. You're going to have a whole family? Me too. <laughs> bro, I want to be able to watch Black Clover. Why? <laughs> Captain's on the side ones. You know number one. That's close-ish to Noel. I still need to do my Saint You Know versus Saint Noel video. That's the thing, though. Is like So, like... So this week's video, I'm doing a video on Yosuga. Next week, I'm doing a video, Black Clover never copied Naruto. The next week after that, I was going to do a JJK video. But now that the arc is over, I said that once I once this arc is over, I'm doing the Ryuzen versus Lucifero. But I also want to do, I don't know. I had like my, all my content planned out, and I extended it because the movie got delayed. Because I don't, I basically have a video planned every single week. I already have like what I like planned out until the movie comes out. You know, it's so stupid. You know, it's not stupid. I do want to see both though. I want to see Yami as well. So right now it's you know at thirty eight percent. Noel and Yami are tied, and Mirrorland is not even close. At eleven percent. Interesting. The movie comes out on my birthday now. Super excited. Got to go out to make videos. Do it. Animes don't ever copy each other. I mean, yeah, you're right. They really don't. 
But, like, the point is, like, I don't even think that Tabata is even inspired by Naruto or Kishimoto. Ooh, you hear my stomach growling? I'm hungry. What's up, Theory? I'm doing good. How are you? We all sent for Yami. Hey, I'm a Yami stan. Damn, Mirio dropped to below 9%. So it's by far Yuno. Which honestly, out of those four, I would probably go Yuno at number one, Noel number two, Yami number three, and Mirio number four. Uh, but I love your content so much. I mean, honestly, I'm not like. Do you actually still watch the videos though, even if they're spoilery? Because, like, while that is a little, and not really weird, but, like, because I used to do that. Like, I used to watch Dragon Ball Super videos before I even watched Dragon Ball Super. Because I thought it was so interesting, but I just didn't have the time to watch it yet. So, like I said, it's really not that crazy, but... Naruto fans need to have some way to act like Naruto is the center of everything. That's, like, for the, like, it's not every Naruto fan, but the Naruto fans that are like that, yeah, like... I'm trying to make it so this video is like the end of the Naruto Black Clover debate. That Black Clover does not ripping off Naruto. Because like I literally go in like it's the script's not done, but like I am going in. My favorite character in all of anime. Um Probably Asta or Joey Wheeler. Looking forward to your thoughts video on Denji versus Yuji. You mentioned it a while ago. Um, yeah, that's still going to happen. Don't know when, though. The arc was 7 out of 10 for me. Power spikes were too high. The story was fire. Yeah, power scaling was a little all over the place. But, uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 is fine. I'd probably go 8, 8.5 out of 10. Naruto, probably the most popular anime for scalers. Hmm. That or Dragon Ball, to be honest. I never see One Piece fans say Black Clover copy One Piece. It used to be. Like, years ago, but not nearly as much as Naruto. Not to help if you want it. I mean, if you just think, if you, like, have anything... Tabata is inspired by... Oh, we got ATG again. Oh, my God. Ugh. This guy. ATG has no idea what he's talking about. This may sound a little trivial, but Naruto will always have a special place in my heart, right next to Luffy. No, oh, I mean, Naruto is great. I own every single volume of the, of the manga. I really like Naruto, but... Joey Solo's Dragon Ball, he does. He really does. Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually one of the most powerful series. And Joey scales relative to Yu-Gi. Here we go, exactly. ATG was also in my Asta vs. Gojo video, and just... Man... In the end credit page, Achika had Toad, Sage, Modai's, and above her Sage, Naruto. That literally makes no sense. Paladins went down too easy? Yes and no. I, I kind of agree and disagree at the same time. Lucius versus the rest of the verse. Hmm. Honestly, Lucius probably loses. PS1 Hagrid? Oh my god. Literally built a way to have his soul visit the afterlife for a freaking duel. Kaiba is one of the greatest villains, or, or antagonists of all time. Greatest rivals of all time. Exactly, Theory. That's what I hammer into the video. Almost all Black Clover is inspired by Bleach, not Naruto. Oh, the end credit thing. Yeah, that was by an assistant of Tabata. Like, that's a reach and a half. I, I, thanks for bringing that up, Oof Ouch. Yeah, I saw that too. That's literally Tabata's assistant. And you're trying to say that Tabata is inspired by Naruto because of an assistant <laughs> putting something related to Naruto in it? So silly. 
Oh my god, Phantom. Yeah, exactly, Brandon Porter. Like, you, I, I, I can understand when, when you, people see similarities in it. But, like, when you actually look into it, it's really not. I've, I know what you're talking about, I've seen that. But that's literally from the assistant. An assistant to Tabata. That's, like, <laughs> nothing to do with Tabata being inspired by it. Um, I got Kurt Asta beating Vasilorda Ichigo, XD anime. But it depends. I think you can technically get that version of Ichigo because of, like, a movie to multiversal. Or low multiversal, which would <laughs> change my opinion. But... If, it, if you don't include that, then... Can you do some Yu-Gi-Oh! content? Um, I am planning to do that. I, I was working on a pretty big one. I haven't been working on it in like six months. But uh, I, it's, it'll it'll happen eventually. HG SMH. Yeah, SMH. <laughs> again, you get proven wrong again, man. How many times have I to tell you this, old man? People know Indra Atsuski more than Indra as a god. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I mean, people know about Thor from the from Marvel than Thor as a god. Kind of happens. You don't feel a part of Kahana. That's yeah. That's interesting. Right on with a SpongeBob quote. Ichika also had paint. Oh. Guys, he's bringing up the Kishimoto invented gravity. What the heck? Do you think that Kishimoto invented push and pull? How did we enter grocery stores before Kishimoto? How did we enter grocery stores before Kishimoto? I guess grocery stores now have automated doors. How do we enter restaurants before Kishimoto? Because we didn't we didn't know what push and pull was before then, right? Yeah, I mean, I will explain why Asta wanting to be the Wizard King is not brought from Naruto. It's actually taken from Norse mythology. Tabata had to give the assistant the go to draw that. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> what? Just because he gave him the go to draw it doesn't mean that it that he's inspired by Naruto. He's just that's just his assistant. Do you, do you not know that assistants do? A lot of the time, it's them, like, just helping the creator of the series. It doesn't mean that Tabata is inspired by it. God damn. Like, it's like you just want. It's like, it's weird. Like, Naruto fans want, not all Naruto fans, they want Black Clover to be inspired by Naruto. But then are mad about it at the same time. It's really weird. Black Clover shares the perfect usages of black from Bleach. Kishimoto created everything in existence, right? Bleach and Berserk, yeah. Those are definitely the two biggest. Like, I literally, like, in my, in my strip so far, I found so many different... Uh, common comparisons that people bring up to say that Black Clover ripped up Naruto, and I've actually could, I've found the true inspiration for all of it. Kishimoto legit created a shonen, so everyone copied him. Okay, so ATG is just a troll. Good, good job, ATG. You're doing a good troll. I thought you were actually serious, but yeah, you're definitely trolling. Oh god, ATG. ATG. I just looked at his channel. You post you post Graham Hancock shorts? This makes so much sense. No. ATG's trolling. That's fun. That's funny, honestly. What is this Naruto reference we were talking about? He's saying that <laughs> uh, 
Tabata took the uh, concept of pushing and pulling from Naruto. Anime didn't exist for 2005. APG Redemption Arc. Mangekyo bought Yakugan versus Mangekyo Sharingan. Psh, I have no idea. Like, I have no idea. He's copying the same mythology, so SMH. Bruh. That just that just would mean that you're you're admitting that he's not copying Kishimoto. If you're saying that Tabata's copying the same mythology, that's you admitting that he's not copying Kishimoto. So, ooh, standard working man, a member for a month. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Happy Monday, working fam. Yeah, it's it's Sunday for me still, but <laughs> appreciate the support for so, for a month. Yeah, I mean, I'm still under the belief that spirits have to be in line with the exact element that they match to. So, like, he technically... Wait, does he have earth magic? Or does he have mud? No, he has earth magic, doesn't he? Why? I know, I'm tired, guys. It's a late stream for me. He has earth magic, doesn't he? I got him confused with the general... Yeah, he has Earth. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome if he got the, the Earth Spirit. Why not? Send the link to your Discord. I'm for real, Broku. Isn't the... My Discord is in the description. You can just click it there. But, like... So, the ATG, if you're saying that he that Tabata is using the same mythology as Kishimoto, then what you're saying is that he's not copying Kishimoto, he's taking from mythology. So if that's what you're saying, then your whole point just completely falls apart. Asta's dad being a dwarf would explain Asta being short. I don't think Asta is going to be a dwarven hybrid, to be honest. I think it'd be better if he was a devil hybrid or nothing than, than being a dwarven hybrid. But, I mean, it could still be interesting, though. I need to make myself go to bed. Yeah. Well, good night. Someone send Broku's Discord so I can prove that Kishimoto created Shonen. Is... Oh my god. He literally think- Wait, are you being serious that you think Kishimoto created Shonen? Because this is like a common meme if you look up who created Shonen that Kishimoto shows up. Oh, what's funny is when you actually look at it now, it doesn't even say that. So actually, let's uh... When you look up who created Shonen, during this period in the 1950s, the traditional Shonen manga format emerged. Osamu Tezuka's Astro Boy manga is widely regarded as creating the, the basis of this format and many of the elements that define the genre. Because I know it's a common meme people used to look up who created Shonen, and Kishimoto would show up with Naruto. So yeah, this is the 1950s. Naruto came out like the end of the 90s. So if you're going to use Google search, Google has got my back. <laughs> W gifts? Oh, you, you can gift memberships? Oh, dang. Rapid Cougar with five gifted memberships? Appreciate that. Let's get a W in the chat for Rapid Cougar. Rapid Cougar 3, thank you so much. A dope got gifted? Awesome. I didn't even know you could do gifts. Kishima created the heavens and the earth. It's the world we're just living in it. Yeah, th thank you, uh... Rapid Cougar, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. That helps. Click the top of the people who ask, lol. I, I don't... I don't... Does he... I don't know if it's random. W, yeah, let's get W's in the chat. Appreciate that. <laughs> All good. Um, Naruto came out in the 1940s. Oh my gosh. We have the power of Google on our side. W. Uh, 
our lives are written by Kishimoto's green Seth W WW All right, well, I, I do need to end the stream, but I do want to ask Rapid Cougar, what do you have to say? Do you have a question? Because I want to want to spotlight you for a sec before I end it. Because I can't just end, I can't end the stream without giving you a little bit of something, something, so. What do you got for us, Rapid Cougar? Do you have a question? Do you want me to say something? Naruto's older than God. Naruto came out in 1492. That's how Chris. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Oh, I wonder if ATG is actually in my Discord right now. That'd be hilarious. Oh, that'd be so funny if he was, but it sucks. I couldn't even stream anyways to see what he's saying. Uh, I don't see. Him. I didn't get any messages, so maybe he's not there. But Rapper IDK, bro, come on, you got something. I know you got something. Think of something. Shout something out. Give me a hot take. Anything. Kishimoto created time and space. You should do some what ifs again. Okay. I'm going to highlight that, Rapid Cougar, and I'll talk about it. I actually. I don't know what you're talking about for sure. Are you talking about Broku 72 or Broku? Because I'm actually making, in the process of making a what if for Broku 72 again. It's basically what if Beerus woke up before GT? And I'm calling it Dragon Ball ST. Cause I'm, I'm, basically, it's a fusion of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. So I am making more what-ifs on that. Um, as for making Black Clover what-ifs, I've tried a few times. Like I actually tried to do one like two years ago, and it just didn't do well. Um, I definitely would like to do Black Clover what-ifs. It's just it is harder to do what-ifs on series that are, you know, short-ish. Because Dragon Ball is way easier to do because you have, I think it was like over 600 chapters. If you combine Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super, and then you have Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super is continuation. So you have a lot to work with. And we have a lot of a, a huge world to work with. We have time travel with like time machines and stuff. So it's harder to do Black Clover because it's also it's only 350 chapters. But I definitely want to do Black Clover what ifs in the future. But as for Dragon Ball, if that's what if that's what you're talking about, because that's what I'm was more so known for. I'm definitely am. Um hopefully within the next month I will release my new what if. But, uh, yeah, it looks like no, no ATG in the server. I'm sure he will be at some point, but, um, I'm gonna have to end the stream, guys. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for the gifted memberships. Rapid Cougar, appreciate that so much. Um, I will be releasing this as a VOD on my highlights channel, and I will probably stream again on Wednesday, hopefully. Um, I also am gonna try and start streaming quartet nights again and trying to play with you guys like i used to in the past like two years ago three years ago i used to play with you guys um so i'm gonna do that again because i also want to start a quartet nights tournament i think that'd be really fun so if you guys have quartet nights um maybe start training <laughs> but yeah thanks for everybody and have, hope you had a good weekend have a good rest of your weekend if it's still sunday for you if not hope monday goes well for you guys and peace out everybody i'm gonna go eat some nachos for dinner and finish my paper peace out Actually, Rapid Cougar, I see you. You should do what if Goku had key Dragon Slayer magic and key God Slayer magic for God Key. If you're talking about like Fairy Tale stuff, I think Dragon Ball and Fairy Tale crossovers would actually be pretty interesting. Um, that so yeah, thank you. I I'm actually I'll think about that. I'm actually in the process of rereading all of Fairy Tale, so if I think of anything, let me know. And thanks again, Rapid Cougar. Appreciate that.